Hey, so I told you I was going to share with you the meat and potatoes of this video. Was that it? No, that was not it. Okay, so far I've showed you how to take this and to turn the timer on with the remote. You might say, well, Joe, hey, that's all fame and dandy. But I own a condo and I rent it out for vacationers. I need to do it differently because let's face it, I don't care what you do, you can train your vacation renters all day long, but you cannot police them, can you? They're going to not use the timer 99 out of 100 times, okay? You're blowing smoke. If you think that all of your renters are going to mind you and use the timer either up here or right on here. So there is a different way. You want to know what it is? Please say yes. Okay, this is what you've got to do if you own a vacation rental unit. And if you want to control this air conditioner a different way, this is what you've got to do. And what I'm going to do here, I haven't done it yet, but what I'm planning on doing, here's the plug right here. Now I'm going to put in another cut-in box over here further. I've got to find out where the studs are and all that kind of stuff, but I'm going to put a timer in there an actual remote timer, okay? Kind of like an egg timer, so to speak. There's gonna be a timer on the wall, and it's gonna be a four hour timer. And incidentally, I know of a couple other people who have this four hour timer right now on vacation rental units that they own. They have not once had a complaint yet from a vacationer saying they've gotta walk over here and turn the timer on, okay? That's gonna save you big time because you're gonna have a four hour timer and what's gonna happen is we put that timer in here then you have to come up here you have to turn the timer on okay turn the timer on now you can use this unit just like before you can take your handheld remote you can turn the air conditioner on and uh, adjust it do whatever you want but after four hours it shuts off and this timer you can you can turn it um, one hour two hours three hours four hours whatever Okay, you know, if the person knows that they're only going to be here for a couple hours before they leave to, to go on a trip outside, go snorkeling, go whale watching, whatever they're going to do for the day, go to the beach, whatever, um, and they're going to be leaving in two hours, they just turn that timer on for two hours. That's all they have to do. Once they turn that on, that will activate this plug because that timer, all the power is going to come to the timer first, then the power is going to go from the timer over to the plug. Do you see what I'm saying? That's a way, the only way, the best way to control your air conditioning electrical costs in a vacation unit. All right? Think about it and look into that because that will save you money. There's a few things you're going to have to check out because when you get that timer, they got two different types. Is your wall mounted or window mounted air conditioner a 120 volt or a 220? You're going to need to know that. Find out in your electrical panel what type of breaker you've got running this. And I looked in the breakers in the sub panel where this comes out of and it's on a standard 20 amp circuit. So that tells me this is 120 volt. And um, so I'm getting the associated timer for that, okay? Just having a little bit of know-how, and if you're not sure, you go to the wholesale house, they'll kind of walk you through it. You may have to come back home and check again. The main thing is you want to make sure you put in the right size timer for the right size air conditioner that you have. Here's the timer I'm going to install. Now this is a four hour timer and see there's a little turn button here and you can turn it to however long you want on here. One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours and any increments of an hour. Okay, You have to turn it past a certain point to start it and then you're fine for the rest of the time. So. I've seen these in three hour timers, but the standard one 
is a four hour timer. Now, do they make one a uh, six hour timer? Yeah, you can get a six hour timer if you feel that you should install a six hour instead of a four hour. Um, six hour timers are usually a special order. Usually most electrical houses, wholesale houses do not have those in stock. But like I say, four hours, I'm going to try that. And uh, some other people who have a four hour in their rental units, um, they don't have, they haven't had any problems. So I think we'll be safe with installing a four hour timer.